I want you to forget what you know about the AI you use today. The jump from GPT-4 to GPT-5 is being described by some as even bigger than the one from GPT-3 that first blew everyone's minds. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. There's a quote from an OpenAI insider that's been making the rounds. It's wild watching people use Chat GPT knowing what's coming. What seems to be coming isn't just an update. Naughty, naughty. It's a potential revolution. In this video, I'm breaking down the rumored features that are set to change everything. We'll look at the tech, the timeline, and what it all means for you. The world of AI might be about to have its own before and after moment. And that after Bruh. is rumored to arrive as soon as this summer. To really get why ChatGPT5 could be such a huge deal, you have to look at the pain points of what we have now. GPT-4 and 4.0 are incredible, but they have their quirks. The model can be inconsistent, sometimes trips over complex instructions, and makes us jump between different tools for different jobs. One for text, one for images, another for data analysis. It's powerful, but it can feel a bit disconnected. The goal for OpenAI with its next major model seems to be ending that fragmented experience. While CEO Sam Altman has been careful about releasing concrete details, he has repeatedly hinted that the goal is a single unified model that just works. No more toggling between modes, no more confusion, just one AI that can fluidly handle whatever you throw at it. This is why there's so much buzz about a foundational shift from a tool that responds to one that truly understands and starts to act. The timeline is still unconfirmed, but multiple credible reports and statements from Altman himself point to a potential release sometime in the summer of 2025. So let's get into the first groundbreaking rumor, true unified multimodality. You've heard the term multimodal with GPT-4.0, which means the AI can handle text, images, and audio but it's kind of like a person switching between different apps on their phone. The big rumor is that ChatGPT5 will be natively multimodal, meaning it could process text, images, audio, and maybe even video all at once in a single thought process. Picture this, you could show it a video of a meeting. The AI could then create a text summary, pull out action items, generate a visual mind map, of the discussion and draft a script for a follow-up video all in one place. Sam Altman has confirmed multimodality is a major focus and hints about video capabilities are out there, though it's not really confirmed for the initial launch. This isn't about making things easier. It's about giving the AI a much deeper, more contextual understanding of the world. It wouldn't just see an image. It might grasp the emotions in a scene or track objects in motion in a way that currently is out of our reach. Next, let's talk about what might be the most critical upgrade, advanced reasoning. A big frustration with current AI is that it can feel flaky. It can give you a brilliant answer one minute and a completely nonsensical one the next because it lacks deep logical consistency. ChatGPT5 is expected to tackle this head on with a new approach to problem solving. Some have referred to the idea of the model taking more time, maybe a few extra seconds to think through a complex problem before spitting out an answer. This is a huge shift away from the focus on instant, sometimes shallow responses. This chain of thought style reasoning means the AI can break down a problem into smaller steps, analyze them, and build a more reliable and well thought out solution. Think of it like showing your work on a math problem. The AI is essentially writing its own notes on the side to make sure it gets the right answer. This would make it far better at tasks that need multi-step logic and planning. It seems to be what Sam Altman was alluding to when he said future models will know when to think for a long time or not, automatically shifting between a quick reply and deeper reasoning. This next rumored feature is where things start to feel like they're straight out of science fiction. Agentic autonomy. We're not just talking about an AI that can chat, but an AI that can do. An AI agent is a system designed to work more autonomously, to take a high level goal, break it down and execute a plan with less handholding. The speculation around ChatGPT5 points to a new agentic architecture. Imagine 
asking the AI to create a marketing campaign. Now, instead of just giving you a list of ideas, it might be able to perform parts of the task itself. It could break down the goal into subtasks and delegate them to internal functions. One for writing ad copy, one for designing visuals, another for identifying a target audience, and one to analyze the results. Early versions of this idea are already being tested with tools like OpenAI's Operator and Deep Research, which can browse the web and compile reports on their own. This is already a huge step. Transforming the AI from a passive assistant, you have to guide constantly into a proactive partner that can take initiative. It's the difference between asking for a recipe and having a chef start prepping the ingredients for you. So what happens when we have an AI that's more unified, can reason better, and can start taking action? The possibilities are pretty staggering. For developers, this could be a revolution. An AI with advanced reasoning and agentic abilities could potentially write code, debug it, connect to APIs, and deploy a simple application, all from a natural language request. That could turn weeks of work into just a few hours. For creative professionals, a truly unified multimodal engine would be a game changer. A filmmaker might describe a scene and the AI could help generate a script, storyboards, and even a concept video with a fitting musical score. A musician could hum a tune and the AI could help arrange it for a full orchestra. For anyone in business, the impact could be just as big. Imagine an AI agent that can handle your company's level one customer support with greater accuracy or an AI analyst that can review a massive financial report, find key trends, create charts, and draft a summary presentation all before you've even made your coffee in the morning. The expected larger context window and better memory will allow the AI to remember your preferences and past projects making it a genuinely personalized assistant. This isn't about replacing people, but about amplifying what we're capable of on a more greater scale. Of course, of course, with this much potential power, we have to have a reality check. An AI that can act more autonomously raises serious questions about accountability, bias, and control. OpenAI has stated that safety is a top priority and that any self-improvement capabilities would be tightly controlled. CEO Sam Altman has also been a visible figure in global discussions about AI regulation. Now for the million dollar question. Is ChatGPT5 going to be Artificial General Intelligence or AGI? You see, AGI is the holy grail, an AI with human level self-improving and fully autonomous intelligence. While Sam Altman has made some eye-popping comments like questioning if he'll be smarter than GPT-5, the consensus is that this next model will not be AGI when it's released. However, it's widely seen as a massive stepping stone in that direction. It will likely demonstrate a profound leap in its abilities, forcing all of us to grapple with these ethical and philosophical questions more directly than ever before. We are on the verge of what could be a brand new chapter in technology. The rumored features for ChatGPT5, unified multimodality, advanced reasoning, and agentic autonomy point to more than just another update. They hint at a fundamental shift in our relationship with machines moving from a simple tool to a true collaborative partner. Now, we've covered a lot of ground from the technical rumors to the real world possibilities, but I want to know what you think. Are you excited about these new potential features? Maybe you're concerned, a bit of both? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on the AI revolution, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more updates on ChatGPT5 and whatever comes next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.